What's up, you guys? It's your girl, CC Rada. Anywho, yes, this is Vlogmas Day 5. Ah, hi, hi. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Ooh. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, this is Vlogmas Day 5. Sorry if this stick is moving around a lot because it's in between the legs, but who cares? So, I had came back because, you know, I wanted to talk to you guys. So, like, I've been looking up why like how does youtubers get out there and how do they get there more subscribers more likes more views more this and that i was told people buy them they buy their views they buy their subscribers and that's how they start off with it some people build collab with big people and just you know go out there and travel to other subscribers to get more subscribers and you know views and stuff so they can get paid me i don't travel though I have a daughter, and plus, with my uh, health issues, I can't travel, so it's like, I'm like, that's what you guys do just to get views and likes, like, that's pretty dope, like, I wish I could travel and go do things like that so I could get my views, my subscribers, and get paid just like y'all, so I can sit at home and be a house mother, like I'm supposed to be, instead of going out working all the time, but like I said, my time is coming, God knows my time is coming, thank God, but... Even if you don't be successful, like, half of these YouTubers and be popular like them, don't worry. You'll always be so good at what you do. Don't matter how small you start, how big you start, don't matter how it is. I say all the YouTubers that have started off as a YouTuber in the beginning and had no subscribers, no views, no nothing, and came from the bottom and started to the top like that, I say I give y'all kudos. Now, if you pay for your subscribers and stuff like that, ain't nothing wrong with that. You're still coming from the bottom to get to the top and you can stay at home and don't have to worry about doing nothing. Your child will be good. You will be good. You'll have a car, house paid off, everything. So, I was going to try the $25 thing that they said it was for YouTube or something to subscribe your page or get them more views. I might try that, but I don't know because I'm kind of scared. But, you know... Sometimes you gotta you gotta start off small and then go with the big one. So I'm thinking about. It. But I want to always become a YouTuber. I started YouTubing when I was I'm not gonna say my age because I don't know. But I started YouTubing in 2000, I think 15, 14. I'm not for sure. I gotta go look at one of my old videos. But I started trying to be a YouTuber very very soon than what I was. No, 2000. And 14, 14, there we go, 14 or 13, one of them. I wanted to become a YouTuber because I was told, like, you can pay your bills, get a car, don't have to worry about nothing, you can sit at home and stuff, and that's all I could think of is sitting at home, making sure my mom and their bills and everything is paid for, and mine is too, my child is straight, whoever I'm with, they're straight and everything, and it's just like, I never succeed because back in the day, I was very hot-headed. I never listened to my parents, what they told me to do. I never listened to, I never followed my dream. That's what I did. Cause I was a singer and we stopped singing. I was in a group with my sister's C5. And we just, we backed out. Ever since my sister got pregnant and I got pregnant, we, we canceled everything. When I had my daughter, I wanted to become a singer even more. But then it started backing down because it was like, everybody departed. Everybody wanted to do their thing, their way. So that's why I stopped and I wanted to become back a YouTuber so I started doing YouTubing back. But YouTubing was just not me. Ever since I moved down to Louisiana from my hometown, Michigan, it was like, it was a big hit for me because I lost all my friends that I was cool with, the people I used to hang out with, my patients that I used to, you know, be with and everything. And it was just like, I, I lost a big total just to come down here for a new, fresh new start. And I don't know. It was pretty good to me. But like I'm kind of, it's kind of a big hit for me because like I moved down here, I didn't have anything, I didn't know nobody to hang out with or you know be cool with and stuff like that. So I mean it was not really a big loss, a big lose or nothing, but it's just you're not cool with certain people, you don't talk to certain people and it's just like their whole, they're so different from up north. Once you have an attitude with one of them, they all got beef. 
they don't like the fight, they like to use guns and stuff. Everything was just so different. It's like I had to cope with their stuff down here, you know, get used to it. The men, they're terrible down here. Some. It's like you can't, they want it their way or it's the highway. So it's just like, so everything was just different ever since I moved down here. So hopefully next year will be a better year for me where I can start my YouTube, become a better one. Hopefully my daughter, I have her YouTube page up where she can have hers and stuff, you know, too. But I'm just, I just hope everything goes like I want it to go because I do want to be a YouTuber. I want my stuff to go as planned as well. But if it don't, I mean, everything will be cool. Perfectly cool. As long as if I keep watching my YouTube subscribers and stuff like that, they're like, aka Pretty Boy Alfredo, I still watch him. He's pretty good. I mean, besides all the parts that people keep on talking down on him about, I really don't care about that part because it's like, he's been a pretty dope guy since day one. I mean, I still support him. I support a lot of people, but I'm not going to bring up my other subscribers because I don't really care about bringing them up right now, but I watch them. But Pretty Boy Alfredo, I give him some props. I like that dude. He's pretty cool. But, you guys, I've been talking for a long time. And this is like the longest video for the fifth vlog this day. So let me cut it short so I can save all this rest for the, the sixth video. So I'll see you guys on the sixth video, you guys. Like I said, have a blessed vlogmas day. See you right out. Thank <laughs> you.